All right, so we want to check if a statistics is complete, if a, a sufficient statistics is complete. For us to be able to do this, we must first of all check whether that sufficient statistics come from a family whose density is complete. And there are various steps we can do that. So in other words, to know if a sufficient statistics is complete, first, we must check whether it comes from a family whose density is complete. So that is just what we are looking at. So that is our pointer. So if we are asked, okay, what is this, is this sufficient statistics, is it complete? We must go back to the density and check whether that density itself is complete. And what is what would help us to identify whether it's complete or not is when we take the expectation of the, of the function of the sufficient statistics, then we would have zero. All right, let's quickly go to an example and uh, see how we can work with that. All right, let's have this example. Um, this example is in our, in our material. Let's x1 to xn be a random sample from a Bernoulli distribution. And uh, from factorization theorem, we know that our t, which is a sufficient statistics, is equal to sum of uh, xi, is a sufficient statistics. Now, let us take a function of that sophisticated statistics, which is zt. And uh, we are going to now check whether the expectation of the uh, function of the sufficient statistics will give us zero. Now, here is the Bernoulli distribution. And for a Bernoulli distribution, we have this, and we have the parameters of x as, the values of x as zero and one. So now we want to check the expectation of the function of the uh, sufficient statistics, and we want to check whether it will be equal to zero. So now in, for, for us to do this, we would also take the expectation of this Bernoulli um, distribution here. And this will give us sum zt. You know, this is just like we take the expectation of a, a, a binomial distribution. This zt here is representing your x. So let us say our x is equal to t here. Okay, so whenever we are having x, we are going to represent it as t. So sum of uh, zt, where t is from 0 to 1, times the distribution theta raised to the power of t, 1 minus theta, 1 minus t. Now, please note, when you take the sum of a Bernoulli distribution, what you are going to have is a binomial distribution. So this would be equal to sum zt. And our, for, for a binomial distribution, we have an n, 0, 1, to n. Uh, the value for t, rather. OK, so it's going to be from t equals 0 to n. Then this becomes a binomial distribution. 1 minus theta, n minus t. OK. So what we are trying to show here is we want to check whether this, uh, our, whether the expectation, whether our zt would be equal to zero. And if our zt is equal to zero, then the expectation of that zt would also become zero because the expectation of a constant zero is zero. All right, so uh, moving forward from here, we have sum of t equals to 0 to n, zt, now, uh, times t raised to the power of t. This, we can simplify this as 1 over 1 minus theta t times 1 minus theta raised to the power of n. OK, so this, this is still something, OK? So now I can bring this out. OK, I can bring this out. And we'll be having sum of theta equals 0 n. Now, let me take this one out. I can take this one out of the summation sign, OK, as um, 1 minus theta is the power of n. That will be left with z t. 
and this will be theta raised to the power of t times 1 over y minus theta raised to the power of t. I can further work on this as 1 minus theta n summation from t equals to 0 n z t and this can be I can write this as theta is equal to over sorry 1 minus theta all raised to the power of t and let me set alpha as equal to theta over 1 minus theta or raised to the power of uh, just like this okay not no, just like this then what I'm going to be having here instead of um, theta over 1 minus theta I'll be having alpha so alpha will be raised to the power of t so finally we'll be having 1 minus theta is the power of n sum over z t alpha raised to the power of t now the various values of t are t is equal to 0 1 to n so now let me fix all these things here and let me open this sum i'll be having 1 minus theta raised to the power of the first one is 0 or uh, 0 it can n can take 0 1 2 down to n sum of theta okay let me open this now to be for when t is equal to 0 it will be z 0 alpha raised to the power of 0 plus the next one is z1 alpha raised to the power of 1 plus so on and so forth till we get z n right but remember t is also equal to what n so z t alpha raised to the power of n So when I open this sum, this is what I'm going to have. So from here, now if you look at this, alpha raised to the power of 0 is 1. Alpha raised to the power of 1 is alpha. Alpha raised to the power of n is alpha n. So these values of alpha for t raised equal to for t equals 0 to n can never, can never be 0. But remember, we want to take the expectation, and from our condition, the expectation of this here the expectation of this here is equal to zero so everything here must be equal to zero so how do we get everything here equal to zero when this cannot be zero this cannot be zero and this cannot be zero and if i say n you know this n starts from zero to um n so it's going to be zero here if everything here is the power of zero it's going to give give me one so it's not going to give zero. it's not going to give me zero Likewise, if I use 2, 3, and so on and so forth. So the only possible way for this to be equal to 0 is if this is equal to 0, this is equal to 0, and this is equal to 0. That is the only way that this expression here can be equal to 0. So in that case, z0 will be equal to 0, z1 must be equal to 0, and zt also must be equal to zero so having shown this therefore the expectation of z t would also be equal to zero so having this we can now say that a Bernoulli distribution comes from a family of density that is complete and therefore the sufficient statistics theta which is equal to sum of xi is also complete all right let's try another example for a poison distribution so quickly let us just run this for this we would uh, also um, all right so this is a, a poison distribution so for this we would also take the expectation of a function of the uh, sufficient statistics now from factorization theorem we know that is the sufficient statistics is sum of xi now this is the sufficient statistics all right so now let us uh, let us look for the expectation let us show that the expectation of z t 
is equal to zero. The expectation of the function of the sufficient statistics is equal to zero. Now let's take the expectation of this. Now for expectation, we are going to have sum of first let x equal to t just for simplicity. So we have t is equal to zero to uh, for this infinity. That is my Poisson distribution. Uh, so our uh, ideally our expectation is supposed to be x times this uh, density uh, this uh, uh, distribution. In this case, it's going to be z t times this. So e exponential raised to the power of minus lambda lambda raised to the power of x. So uh, um, sorry, t then t factorial. Okay, so um, here we are going to try to bring out this um, uh, exponential raised to the power of minus lambda. Now, exponential is a constant, lambda is a constant. So if we are to bring it out of here, it's going to be exponential raised to the power of minus n lambda summation t equals to zero infinity z t times lambda raised to the power of t over t factorial with this range of values. Okay, so from here let's just um let's expand this. Okay, so we have exponential raised to the power of minus n lambda. What this thing means is when t takes the value of 0, 1 down to infinity, we have z, 0, times lambda raised to the power of 0. 0 factorial is 1, plus z, 1, lambda raised to the power of 1. 1 factorial is 1, plus down to z t, which is z t, okay, um, lambda raised to the power of uh, t, and t factorial. Okay, so now, if I have, if I have something like this here, okay, and I set n raised to the power of 0, 0 times lambda is 0. So finally, what we're going to be having here is exponential minus an exponential raised to the power of minus 0. An exponential raised to the power of minus 0 is 1. So there is no given value of n here that this expression will be equal to 0. Similarly, lambda raised to the power of 0 is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. This case and, the, and continuous. So there is no given value of lambda here or t factorial that will make this expression here equal to zero. So the only possible way for this to be equal to zero is that z0, z1, down to zt will be equal to zero. So therefore, we can conclude that z0 is equal to zero, z1 is equal to zero, and zt is equal to zero. And when we take the expectation of Uh, the function of the um, of the sufficient statistics. From here, we have shown that this is equal to zero. Everything here will be equal to zero. So, having gotten to this point, we can now conclude that um, Poisson distribution comes from a family whose density is complete, and therefore, t, which is the sufficient statistics, is complete. I hope this helps anyway.